Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, when we talk about Chrome security updates that have rolled out, you've most probably heard me say a thousand times on the channel, when the security updates do roll out now on a weekly basis, that um, most of the time there's always a fix for a security flaw in the V8 JavaScript engine, which is part of the open source Chromium project and platform. Now it finally seems that Google may be battening down the so-called hatches and making uh, the Chrome web browser more resistant to attacks in regards to the V8 JavaScript engine being exploited. And my reason for saying this is if we head over to Chrome Canary 122, which is the latest preview version, Google has now added an option that will allow you to basically decide whether or not websites can use Chrome's V8 optimizer. So if we just head over quickly in Chrome Canary, which is an early preview, to our settings, and we navigate over to privacy and security, and click on the security section. And on the security page, we scroll down. You will see here now, it's got manage V8 security, turn on additional protection in Chrome's JavaScript and WebAssembly engine. You click on that link, and it takes you over to where you can, as mentioned, decide whether or not you want to use this feature. So it says V8 is Chrome's JavaScript and WebAssembly engine used to improve site performance. So that's basically what uh, that is all about, in case you're unaware. Then you've got default behavior. Sites automatically follow the setting when you visit them. Uh, the default is sites can use the V8 optimizer. So basically this means that it's recommended because Chrome runs faster and features that use JavaScript should work as designed. And then they've got this new one which if you click on, it says don't allow sites to use the V8 optimizer. It says reduces performance but makes V8 more resistant to attack. So this could be Google's answer to kind of um, making the browser, uh, locking down the browser a little bit more and making it just a little bit more resistant to attacks as they are saying in the description of that feature. Although there's always a bit of give and take with these settings where you may reduce performance but I think if you are using a high-spec machine and running Chrome as an example, um, this may be a good suggestion to turn this off if and when it does roll out to the stable. Um, don't allow sites to use the V8 optimizer. And um, you also get a couple of other options here, customized behavior. So you can add sites that um, won't be allowed to use V8 optimizer. And you can also add sites that will always, allowed, uh, will always be allowed to use the V8 optimizer. And I actually think this is a nice move. Um, I think this has been a long time coming. And as I've mentioned on the channel, as mentioned um, a thousand times, the V8 JavaScript is always something that gets exploited almost on a weekly basis. So I think this will be a nice move in regards to security in the browser if and when it does roll out to the stable version. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.